In this video, I will walk you through the installation of Arch Linux 2023 in VirtualBox on a Windows 11 PC. This is a step-by-step -step guide on installing Arch Linux on VirtualBox. Watch this video till to the end and learn how to install Arch Linux 2023 in a VirtualBox on a Windows 11 PC. Now without further ado, let's get started. Since we are installing Arch Linux in a virtual box, you must have enabled hardware virtualization on your PC or laptop. Now by default, this feature is enabled and allows you to run and test any OS in a virtual environment. If in case it's not enabled, you need to check the BIOS settings and turn on hardware virtualization. Once it's enabled, you can verify the status using the Windows Task Manager. It's time to start installing Arch Linux in a virtual box on a Windows PC. Go ahead, open your favorite browser and head over to this link and download the virtual box for your PC or laptop. Now once it's done, head over to the second link and click on this button to download Arch Linux. At the time of recording this video, Arch Linux 2023 is the latest version. You can choose the default 64-bit ISO and download it. Once it's done downloading VirtualBox and Arch Linux ISO, place them on your desktop for easier navigation. Then go ahead, double-click on the VirtualBox and follow the on-screen instructions to install it. Now, as you can see, this is the user interface of the virtual box. We're going to go ahead and create a virtual machine for Arch Linux. To do so, click on the new button, name the virtual machine. This is the folder location where all the files of VM are stored. Then set the type as Linux. And for the version, I'm going to choose Arch Linux 64 bit. Now, click on next. Allocate the desired amount of RAM and CPU for the Arch Linux virtual machine. I will use 10 GB of RAM and 3 CPU cores for better performance. Make sure the slider stays within the green range and click on Next. Now allocate at least 20 GB of free space or more. This is the summary of the virtual machine. Click on Finish. That's it, we have done creating Arch Linux virtual machine. You go ahead, select the virtual machine and click on settings. In the settings, choose general and then advanced. Set the shared clipboard as bi-directional to enable clipboard sharing between Windows 11 or host OS and Arch Linux. You can leave the drag and drop option disabled. Now select display from the sidebar and increase the video memory to the maximum. You go ahead, enable 3D acceleration, which allows guest machines to use the host machine GPU for rendering 3D graphics based on OpenGL. Now select storage from the sidebar. Under the IDE controller, click on empty and choose the DVD icon. Go ahead and import the Arch Linux ISO. For the network settings, you can use the default NAT. If you want the virtual machine to be accessible by another computer within a network, it's better to choose a bridge adapter. This way, Arch Linux will have its own IP address and can be accessed from a remote computer via SSH. For now, I leave it to the default NAT setting. That's it, we have done configuring the virtual machine. Now let's start the VM by clicking on the start button. Then click anywhere inside the virtual machine. 
Remember, when you click inside a virtual machine, the cursor control will be bounded to the guest OS. To release, press the right control key. Now choose the first option and press enter to boot into the Arch Linux installer. Now, during the Arch Linux installation, the first thing to check is whether you have a stable internet connection. Ensure that your host computer or Windows 11 is connected. Now type pacman-sy to synchronize the package list. Then go ahead and install the Arch Linux keyring package that contains the latest keys. Next, launch the Arch Linux installer script by typing arch install without any spaces and press enter key. If the command is not found, you can install the required package by running this command. The arch install streamlines the arch Linux installation process, making it faster and easier. Now use the arrow keys to navigate through the options, then set the system language by selecting your option. The first five options can be left at their default values. Now highlight the drive on which you want to install Arch Linux. Select the default drive by pressing either the spacebar or the tab key. You will see an asterisk between the square brackets to indicate that the drive has been selected. Press the enter key to return to the main menu. Now select the disk layout option and choose the second option to wipe the drive and use the default partition layout. You can choose ButterFS as the file system for the installation. Additionally, if you want to secure your installation with encryption, you can set an encryption password. Now leave the bootloader to the default option and set the swap value to true and leave the hostname as Arch Linux. Now after that, set the root password to assign a password for the root user. Then create a new user account. You can even add the new user to the sudo watch list for elevated privileges. Now choose to confirm and exit. It's time to install the desktop environment. To do so, select the profile option and choose desktop. New Arch install offers a plethora of options to choose from. But for this demonstration, I will opt for the GNOME desktop environment. Next, select the graphic drivers and choose VMware or VirtualBox. Then select the audio option and choose the audio server. For best results on most computers, it's recommended to use Pipewire. If you wish, you can also install additional kernels. But for now, I will stick with the default or the latest available kernel. Now, under the additional packages option, you can specify a list of tools to be installed separated by spaces. After that, select the network configuration and choose to use the network manager. Now, finally, select your time zone to set the correct time on your system. Now go ahead and check all the options and have not left anything blank. Once you have confirmed, select the install option and wait for a few minutes for Arch Linux to be fully installed on the virtual box. That's it, within a few simple steps, you have successfully installed Arch Linux using the Arch install script. The prompt to perform post-installation steps will appear once the installation has been completed. Select yes to enter the chroot environment and start customizing your new Arch Linux installation. Now it's time to install useful tools such as Firefox, LibreOffice, Flatpak, Make, and Hedgedop.
Now once you have finished installing, exit the chroot environment and type shutdown to power off the virtual machine. Then head over to the virtual machine settings of Arch Linux, choose storage, select Arch ISO and remove the drive. Now turn on the virtual machine to boot into Arch Linux. This is how you can quickly and easily install Arch Linux in just 5 minutes using the Arch install script. It's time to install VirtualBox Guest Editions that will enable 3D acceleration, full screen support, clipboard sharing, and more functionalities. To do so, first open Terminal and run this command to update the system. Then type this command to install kernel headers. Now using the menu bar, choose to insert guest editions. Once it's mounted, open File Manager and you will see a CD icon on the sidebar. Click on it and copy the all files and paste them into the documents directory. Then open the terminal and navigate to the documents directory. We need to install this file to enable all the extra features of the virtual box. To do so, change the permissions to this file by running this command. Then tap this command to execute the package. That's it, guest edition support is added to Arch Linux virtual machine. You can see it uses the full screen. It's better to restart the VM to affect these changes. Voila, now as you can see, Arch Linux runs super smooth. The animations and transitions are very fast. Now if in case you decide to delete Arch Linux virtual machine, first turn off the VM. Then head over to the main user interface of VirtualBox. From the sidebar, select Arch Linux and right click on it and choose to remove and delete it. That's pretty much it. What do you guys think about it? If you have any questions, do post them in the comment section down below and I will try to help you. Thanks for watching my video. This has been KSK Ryle. I will see you in the next one.